Brightest blessings, everyone. I'm doing this video for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is this is a response video to Tanhaus. I, I believe that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, please tell me. Uh, with his video entitled, Christian Converts to Occult and Paganism. And basically, uh, Tanhaus was saying that he's really just tired of the Christians saying there's no such thing as a an ex-Christian because if you were to ever leave Christianity you were never a Christian to begin with and he wants you know and he's also tired of all the stories about oh my god I I came to Christianity because I was forced into <gasps> A satanic uh, voodoo Samhain ritual. And I've never been the same since. Yeah. Um, was it satanic or was it voodoo? Or was it... You, you know, they're different. You, make up your mind. If you're going to BS someone, the least you could do is make it sound credible. You know... Why is it people are so stupid that they actually say that everything that is under paganism might as well be satanic? Because it's not. Now, Satanism in itself is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's because people don't understand it. And I have to say that I didn't understand it either. And instead of saying, I'm sorry, or whatever, don't say I'm sorry. Pick up a book. If you don't want to pick up a book, speak to a Satanist. They're not going to bite your head off. Just be a little respectful. Um, the thing is, is that he wants people, pagans, heathens, uh, anybody in, in paganism really, to stand up and say why they're ex-Christians. Why they're not Christians anymore. Why they're following a paganistic path or an occultic path. And... Honestly, I was speaking to someone the other day, and, and I said, you know, it's pretty much... I The stories I hear on why you've left Christianity is almost the same all around. It's almost the same story. It's when you get into why you're following the path that you're currently following now is where the stories tend to differ. And I think that's sad. Now, I'm also doing this for uh, another subscriber of mine, uh, Philip. 0460 and he wants to know why I'm following the path that I am and I'm not really going to get into that completely right now um, it, there's just too many words for it right now and I, I will try to make a better video as far as why I'm on the current path that I'm on right now which is um, I, I'm a practicing Wiccan uh, basically uh, I grew up Roman Catholic uh, I went to Catholic school from second grade to the beginning of seventh grade and I was miserable the entire time um, they told you what you needed to believe you didn't just have catechism classes you had religion was like one of your everyday classes math science English religion yeah it was in there every day and also we were supposed to go to church every Sunday Every Monday we had a report due on the Mass in church on Sunday. And if you didn't have it, boy, you were embarrassed in front of the entire class. And you got an F for the day in religion. So that was pretty messed up. I think things started not clicking with me and I started questioning things when I started noticing, from, from very young actually, when we were delving into the Bible and everything, I was noticing a lot of contradictions. I was also noticing sometimes people are saying, you need to take this Bible literally. And yet, at other times from the same mouths, you got, well, that's not a literal translation. You, it, it's, it's a paraphrase. So who's to say when you're supposed to paraphrase and, and when it, you're supposed to take it literally? you know also I started noticing things you know once they started weaning me off the children's Bible you know I I mean God was a wrathful motherfucker <laughs> um, 
he encouraged war amongst his people. He encouraged slavery amongst his people. He encouraged human sacrifice amongst his people. He encouraged animal sacrifice amongst his people. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, we get into the New Testament versus the Old Testament. You know, first of all, Christians can't even make up their mind on, on a lot of things. Some Christians say we have to take the New Testament and Old Testament, and other Christians say the Old Testament is no longer, it, 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 there's nothing, it's not worthy to be read. It, it's, it's a piece of garbage, it's out of here, because Jesus died for our sins. Yeah. Of course, you got Christians also not being able to, to get on the same page as to who Jesus Christ was. Was he the Son of God? Or was he God incarnate, brought down here on Earth's plane as a human being? People can't make up their minds on that. You know? Y you would think that something that is that important in a specific religion at least the Christians will be able to come together as one and give a specific answer. And they seem to have difficulty doing that. Now, with all the contradictions, with all the BS in the Bible as far as encouraging things, I mean, even practices today, I mean, they say that you shouldn't worship false idols, yet you you don't just worship God, you worship Jesus. Okay, some people say God and Jesus, one and the same. What about Mary? What about the cross? Yes, you worship the cross. You worship the crucifix. Yes, you do. Yes, it's a symbol that you worship. It's in your churches, people. Um, it's not just in the Old Testament that I'm seeing contradictions. I'm not just seeing contradictions from the Old Testament to the New Testament. I'm seeing contradictions in the New Testament as well. I also don't like the fact that it encourages um, it encourages hate. It, it encourages people to to do really evil things in the name of God. I don't like that in the in the Quran, and I certainly don't like that in the Holy Bible. And you're not even sure which Bible to read. I mean, most people I've I've come across read the King James Bible. Well, the King James Bible is named after King James because he he took the Bible and he basically put sh stuff in there that wasn't in there because he felt that it needed to be in there and. He also took things out of the Bible that were in there that he didn't necessarily like. You know, I know King James was a king, but pardon my French, who the fuck was he to take things or add things to any Bible? The Bible's supposed to be the holy word of God. Isn't it? It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. There's a lot of hate. There's a lot of unnecessary, uh, unnecessary bloodshed. And it's just a violent book and a violent God and a vengeful God that could rival any stories of Satan himself. The Christian Satan, that is. And that's why I decided to leave Christianity. Um, let me know if you have any more questions. Blessed be.